So first of all, there's a lot of honor and respect in this position of service. And um, I hope that I was able to fight that back. There's a wonderful wealth of ideas, diversity of experience, talents, things of that nature that you see up here and in our audience as well. And I think it's so important that each of us give back a little bit here and there. And that's what we all try to do. I am leaving because most of you know my husband's been very sick. In fact, I was late today because I was picking him up from surgery. So anyway, um, I'll still be around. I'll still be doing things. But it won't be in the council seat. The important thing is not to break down. And uh, <laughs> I've had a couple of these because as you get older, they try to get rid of you by having a reception. And Janine Gettles back here at EPA, so she knows. We had, a, we had a hell of a party, and then we closed down the world with uh, COVID, I guess. But I want to thank, first of all, District 2 uh, for voting for Noelle and myself, and then the council for building the city. We keep emphasizing that we try to do it respectfully, and we did it slowly because there's a lot of things going down. Honestly, when I was trying to, to run for office, my thought was, hey, I was with EPA and I worked with communities in eight states and they love me. And therefore, I can really come here and make this environmental aspect. Well, they love me because I had millions of dollars. <laughs> And then the other thing is, as the mayor pointed out, when we hit him for some money to start our <laughs> start a budget, you know, we're talking about basic stuff. So we were talking about uh, an account and having staff and having uh, ordinances and having philosophy and all. So that was phenomenal. We had a partnership with the cab that, that was good. And it was the difference that I saw, not being in the early part, was that we were happy with the cab. And that you know we were a little edged by Lakeside and all the, and what hills they ever whatever vista they were looking at because the fact is that we felt that by encroaching on us they were taking away from from what we can as a community build so again the interagency agreements that we did with the cab Michelle and and Noel and Ann were involved and Frank of course with so much it's just phenomenal. Then we had other partnerships with the, and thanks to Ken and Courtney and all, we, we dealt with GDOT and, and, and DeKalb and the ARC, Atlanta Regional Commission, the Georgia Municipal Association, the DeKalb Municipal Association, a lot of things. So Tucker was present in that. And then Jacobs. Jacobs, which uh, grew through uh, through their little mechanism, you know, came up. We were dealing with Hill, and then we were dealing with Jacobs. I, as as some of the staff know, knows, I show up a lot at City Hall, and I I start from the left to try to talk to people. And how's your mom? What's happening with Alabama? And all this other stuff. <laughs> and 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 it's just really neat to be able to talk about what's happening and really praise them for what the staff has done, and they have been phenomenal. Uh, we talk about having stars associated with the staff. This has been ongoing. All of the staff have been stars in their own way. One of the things we started in, and Noel and I did with uh, community engagement was trying to get to listen to District 2 and then to listen to the city and the pulse of the city. Uh, the three things I thought were really cool, the city hall side that showed that the city hall was now in Adrian, was there, like, wow, we are a city. And that was phenomenal. The, uh, the, the compre comprehensive plan that we, st we met, and we talked, and we talked, and we met, and we finessed it, and we developed it. My claim to fame, which they probably don't remember, again, when I was running, I was ancient to start. And I continue to be ancient. And I'm the only one who has never missed a council meeting. <laughs> and, and that was neat because some of them were working because they have jobs. 
and some of them were in Europe, and some of them were in Florida, and, and I worked. Now, Kathleen will probably tell you, well, I didn't know where he went, but he was <laughs> I want to thank, I want to thank Mayor for just leading us in so many ways, and Honey, and Bill, of course, Virginia now, and Ann, and Michelle, they, they were the team that, that had so much insight in what, what they were trying to accomplish. We, as Noel said, we came in, and we were not trying to, we were not trying to, to uh, upset the cart, but we were trying to really work together. Um, there's a, with Noel, again, I just want to say, she may be a toughie, but as you can see, she's a softie. And it's just, it's just been an honor. It is. Um, don't break that. And uh, when I retired from EPA, I said to, to my family, I, I introduced the people from EPA to my family, and I said to them that this was my family, and this is men. There's a, there's a quote um, that if the only prayer you say in your life is thank you, that would suffice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. One more thing. I bought Chinese food yesterday, and Anne at Main Moon, the, the fortune cookie said, no, you better live. You will live a long, prosperous life. <laughs> been to any of these meetings, you know I'm the worst uh, emotionally prepared for any such conversation, but I'll give it a go. I, Matthew Lee said one time, he was standing out there, and I hate that people are outside. I wish we could put them inside. I see the Sanders and the Kalpanas out there, Matthew and Bill. Is there room over here? If you guys wanted to come in there, we can make room for you, but um, I remember Matthew Lee saying, and Sonia saying tonight, and has talked about it before, like, we didn't know each other. We, I mean, so, it's, it's an amazing thing when you think about just that. And I, I know some of you are like, oh, yeah, yeah, you created a city back there, not you, but we. And I, and I, but you can't help but think about it. Like, I met Sonia, and Honey, I met Honey, but I really met Honey, and Matthew Lee, and a couple other folks, um, and I apologize if you were there, in the Baptist church in a crazy meeting during a tornado, for God's sake, because we wanted to, we had, none of us knew each other, and we just went there to look at this insane map. And I, and I think about that room and those people, and just those three people, and how important they are in my life now, and how that never would have happened. So, as, as frustrating as it was, and again, I'm not stealing from you, Matthew, because you know, you're definitely the wordsmith. It was, it was worth it to me for, for just that. And this whole room is filled with our friends. Whose things I can't say or look at, so turn around. <laughs> <laughs> but when I think about the city of Tucker and the accomplishments in the last six and a half years and where we are today and the relationships that we've built that are so important to us, but to continue that with DeKalb County and hopefully with the legislators um, and with the citizens, I think how well we've served the citizens. It's, are we perfect? Nope. Have we made everybody happy? Absolutely not. But we have all, I believe in my heart, come at it for that purpose. Like, how do we serve the city? And that means, that means hard decisions, which of course are disappointing sometimes for some folks. And so if, when I come to this point, I think with all the work, had I been serving with a bunch of knuckleheads <laughs> and not enjoyed the staff, Right? And found the public comment annoying, which I don't. I'm the one, I love it. I love to hear from citizens. Um, it still would have been worth it because I think we've done great things and I'm so proud and I'm so excited about what they're going to do going forward. I have great confidence. But the truth is, it's been a pleasure. Boom, all of it. it there's been a few moments here or there. Mostly good. But otherwise. <laughs> And otherwise, it's been, it's been a great ride, and I've made some wonderful friends and like family now, and I, my life has ever changed. So I thank you for trusting me. Hey, Derek. <laughs> oh, Thanks for giving me the opportunity. 
and I am honored to have, to have been chosen to do this and to, to work with these amazing people here and the amazing other people in this room. And um, I guess I should just close by saying, you know, just again, just thank you. Thank you for putting your trust in me and for being part of this team that we all are in. Right. So love you all. Thank you.